this is such a bad idea. We need to investigate what happened. Dude, the place is crawling with Reapers. We should get out while we still can. We can't just leave Ron behind. Ron? Oh, Poseidon above. You two are safe. Thank goodness. We got captured by the Reapers. <laughs> we need to get you out of here. What was that? Shh. Hide. He's coming. You guys! No socializing with the prisoners! Please. Wait. It's you guys. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. I'm good. You guys good? You guys good? All set, Mr. Silver. We hear you loud and clear. Okay, three, two, action. <sighs> he was recently featured in Pirate Emporium Weekly's Top New Restaurants on the Sea. He's a poet, a pioneer, and some say a prophet. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Silver. How are you? And if you could just finish with the last part of the what I gave you. Sponsored by Nautical Eats. Download the Nautical Eats app to start earning rewards today. Enter code SILVERSPOON to receive 20% off your next flapjack. You're too kind! Thank you for making the time! Okay, Mr. Silver, what have you been up to? The journey to creating the greatest bed and breakfast the sea has ever seen is not an easy one, but the roadblocks made me who I am today. I got my hand chopped off, I went bankrupt, I got kidnapped, I went bankrupt again! And then I had a simple misunderstanding with the Sovereigns. And I'll admit that really put a damper on our trade route and tarnished the brand a wee bit, just a wee bit. But now the Silver Spoon has new life, all because of this lovely family we call the Reapers. Lovely family? <clears throat> Tell us, what are the Reapers really about? I am so glad you asked. They all arrived one day and showed me what being a family is all about. The true way. The Reaper way. Reaper life, brah. It's all about kicking back and just being together, you know? It's all about vibes. Very intense broship existing successfully. No one goes to bed hungry at the Silver Spoon. We also keep a chart on everyone's allergies. No strawberries for Sinister Ambrosa, no legumes for Scooter, and Bradley, well, well, Bradley is allergic to shellfish, so it just sucks for Bradley. The Sovereigns? <laughs> Who needs them? The Reapers can work just as hard as any pirate. Just look at those longshoremen go. If it's a labor of love, is it labor at all? And yeah, we party. We party hardy. And we pass out on tables. So what? They're our tables to pass out on. We do whatever it takes to protect our own. The ocean is a violent place to be. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. We work the forge and build weapons to protect reapers. Whoa, whoa, guys, that is like a lot of swords. So many. It's actually, it's like triple the amount of swords we quoted for the budget. Hey, no, 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 human target practice? No, guys, guys, chill on that, please. Kinda looks like you guys enjoy killing for fun. We're, we're, we're just not like that. That is a misrepresentation of who we are as a brand and- Killing fun, <laughs> yeah, killing fun, yeah, you are fun, I kill fun. <laughs> Every sunset is another day to reflect on how far- God, I miss Ron so much. Because of- <sighs> Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Looks like you missed a spot. Sorry about that. I'll get it right away. <laughs> so much for the greatest captain in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> no one goes to bed hungry at the Silver Spoon? What a load of crap. It's hopeless. I do nothing and war looms. I beg for peace for pirates and no one listens. What does that leave me with, Nameless? I want to change, to find a better way. But I know the truth. The truth? I wish all this meditation and sabbaticaling brought some semblance of peace. But it never did, and I'm afraid it never will. All I have is this rage. I want to quell it, but I'm almost desperate for someone to cross the line, just so they can feel the fury of my blade again. Just so I can change things. No, no, I just need to be peaceful, peaceful and patient, peaceful and patient.
Oh, Ron, you might want to look into therapy, brother. You got some serious presh going on. D D presh. Whoa, guys. Um, guys. Uh, what's happening? My liege, he is finally resurrected. Praise the flame. Uh, so, um, who who is resurrecting? Flame hot. Flame hot has returned. You did it. <laughs> oh, y you mean we did it? No, you did it. The surplus of weapons and fish from the Silver Spoon Forgers gave the Reaper Army the final strength to defeat Pendragon. Y yeah, uh, F that Pendragon, dude. What a loser, am I right? So you're all leaving now? Yes, General. No more sitting around doing nothing. We no longer bond like boys, but go to war. Did you say General? Yes. We received word that your wartime contributions granted you a promotion straight from Flameheart. You are now known as General Silver. Oh boy, I am so sorry. I'm just getting a little lightheaded and I need to c c process what's happening. There's just one last thing to take care of. Let's kill him once and for all. Uh oh, wait. You've mistaken my patience for weakness. If I so wanted, I could scatter you all like grains of sand caught in a maelstrom. And if you choose to do this, nothing will remain of this bed and breakfast but the timeless sea and the hushed whispers of what transpired here. There's a reason the ferryman won't say my name. Wait! Hold your fire! Think smarter than this! What, what, what hurts more? What hurts more? Starving to death? We're being shot to death. Uh, starving to death. Yeah. Right. So we leave them here to starve. They'll die in torment. Their bodies will rot. And the reapers will rise. The sea is ours for the taking. Go, men. Go. All right. You heard the general. Clear this place out. I don't want to see a morsel left. Chop, chop. I don't believe it. You're, you're really going to go with them. You showed me grace that one time. And now I do the same for you. But remember... There's a new warlord in town now. You really think that's what happened here today, don't you? You didn't spare me. I spared you. And if you leave the Silver Spoon as a reaper, I will not spare you a third time. Nameless, I've been with you the whole time. Well, geez, I'm just asking. I don't know what you're capable of, man. You just threatened to scatter their ashes to the four corners of the earth or something. Funny how much damage kegs and surprises can do. <laughs> Aren't you a reaper? You know what? I don't want to know. I'm a survivor, baby! War sucks ass! You seem like chill, guys. I'll chill here for a while. You guys smoke? Here's the Oh, also, number for my shrink. Dr. Sharon. Ron, you got vengeance in your eyes. What's up with that? You seeing red? You guys don't talk much, luckily. I could do this all day. <laughs> okay.